So I'm either very victorious or very lucky. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I've got something in my eye or something, I don't know. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to another video. As I said yesterday, well, in yesterday's live video, I have gotten the COVID shot as of now. Technically, as of this recording, that was done uh, yesterday. I went one day without recording, because the recordings you saw yesterday were pre-prepped a day prior to what I usually do, just so I'm ahead of the game, or ahead of my game, I should say. Today's recording is being done the day after I got the shot, and it's the first of two. I was told by several people, hey, you're going to get sick, either that or you're going to have a lot of pain in your arm. The arm that I'm flailing around is the one I got the shot in, and nothing. Nothing. <laughs> my parents, my mom comes walking into the room that I'm just kind of relaxing in. I'm watching Victorious at the time. And my mom comes walking into the room. She's like, how's your arm? I'm like, it's fine. No effect. And she's just like, lucky. I got sick during both shots. I'm like... <laughs> I was like just kind of teasingly laughing, but I I normally have really bad luck with a lot of things. Like, for example, the video you guys will see later today, I don't get pissed off or I don't rage, but I do get kind of irritated at it, just because it's my luck to not expect what's going to happen, and prior to the shot... I was told by family members that it was likely that I was either going to have an extremely sore arm or get sick. Neither of those happened. In fact, the fact that I'm moving my arms around a lot is how comfortable I am with the position I'm in. I mean, yes, the shot itself numbed out my shoulder a little bit. In fact, it's this exact spot. I was going to see if I could show off like where it was done, but you can barely see it. It's like right here. It was taken care of, but it's like it's the same. Maybe it's because I've had so many shots in my past where it's not that big a deal. Like I've had some shots for surgeries. I've had shots for like blood draws. Like a lot of not pretty much almost everyone has. I've had shots for, like, the flu. Um, I've had shots to take care of things that are way more deep than just that. And then I had this one. And I was like, it's probably not going to be a big deal. My brain to myself was going, eh, it's probably not going to be that bad of a thing. It's, you know, they're saying all this stuff is going to happen, but honestly, I don't personally think it's going to happen to me. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a placebo thing. And for those who don't know what placebo is, it's basically what happens to you is what your brain is thinking will happen. Or, in some cases, it could be current. In this case, it's how I described it. But in some cases, placebo could be like, if you're thinking that you're sick because of certain circumstances that happen to you because people are telling you these things, it'll probably happen. To me, I feel like that's how it may have gone down. I'm saying it might have been luck, but honestly, that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Not everyone gets shots as often as I do. In fact, most people don't. My family, each individual, all four of them, because they're two siblings of mine and two parents. And then me. All four of them had already gotten it. And they don't get them as often as I do. They haven't gotten them as often as I have. So my brain's just like going, if it is placebo, then my brain was just like, well, I've had so many shots in my life. First of all, this wouldn't be the worst even if something did happen. And second of all, I don't think it's going to happen anyway. I'm so used to getting shots 
getting negative outcomes off of specific medical things to the point where I'm like, this is nothing. I don't know, maybe I rose a fever or something, but if I did, it was unnoticeable to the point where it's like, eh. But yeah, that's one shot down, one to go. Now, I have been told by outward sources, like Amber, um, who, as I've said before, works as a nurse, or CNA, or, you know, that category, um, she had up front told me, and, or confirmed with me, I should say, because this is something that I kind of figured already, was that the first shot usually is a breeze. Nothing bad usually happens out of it. The second one, however, yeah, that's where things started to, like, happen. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I was told by other individuals the same, but I mean, and once again, she works in this field. It's kind of her job to know stuff like this when it's asked. And I mean, I know some of this stuff as well, but, and I kind of I kind of figured what she said to me already, but she kind of confirmed it since, unlike me, even though I know knowledge from this field, it is literally her job to know. So, the reconfirmation is not, it, it's always welcome onto that front. Either way around though, that was my experience with the first shot. Not so bad at all. Um, if you guys have gotten yours already, let me know in the comments below how yours went. If you'd like, you don't have to. If you liked this video though, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. I will be doing the same thing in a couple of weeks after I get the uh, second shot. Um, I'll probably have a little bit of a hiatus if I'm not pre prepared enough because I will most likely end up getting sick from that one if what I've been told is the case. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a hiatus, maybe there won't. If it's a hiatus, for me it'll be a hiatus of a couple, a few days. For you guys, probably not so much. We'll find out. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to talk about anything else medical, because the medical field is something that I really do have a lot of knowledge on to a specific degree. If you have any questions about that kind of thing, let me know. Or if you have any psychological or philosophical topics you'd like me to talk about, or any... If you'd like me to talk about like any specific type of life story from my past that I have gone through, if you have any ideas for live vlogs like the one I'm listing out, let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, if you are if you do like this kind of content and you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. As of this recording, I am one away, one sub away from hitting 150, which will mean the... <laughs> noodle challenge. Speaking of, though, I actually have already bought the product, or at least the bag noodle part of it. I got it off of Amazon since I couldn't really find anywhere else to get it, so by the time I uh, I have hit that point, I'll be doing it. 150 will be, or is, if we've already hit that, is, but the uh, video for it will show a very big milestone for me, as small as the number is. But yeah, definitely look forward to that challenge once we've hit that point. Not way around, though. I am going to leave this video here. Thanks again for watching, and all the stuff that I've said. Check out the links on the side of my head to find see any other kind of content like this I've done. I do gaming as well. Check out the channel for that. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.